Attracting a crowd today was Jeff Blodgett, the former Minnesota campaign director for Barack Obama. He spoke about why the Obama campaign was so successful and what lessons can be drawn from it. He included people in, in his campaign in ways and in, in numbers we've never seen before in the U.S. And there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, it was the kind of candidate he was. He was very authentic. He was real to people. He inspired young people. Uh, he spoke uh, uh, about uh, uh, what our country can do. It was a very positive campaign, and that really attracted huge numbers uh, to, his, to his effort. Uh, and then the campaign invested in an organization, uh, organizers and a technology that uh, helped really bring people in and use them effectively. So it was both the, uh, the, the candidacy and the kind of candidate it was and the style and the way the campaign was organized. We hear a lot about how social networking uh, was a part of mobilizing those people. How big a factor was it and what were some of the other ways that people were mobilized? Yeah, well, his campaign supporters uh, really came together through the internet and the website and the, the, the social uh, community that was built. And that was, uh, and so people felt very included in the campaign. They felt that there was a two-way conversation going on. It wasn't all just being told what to do. Uh, people felt like they had input and that uh, and then when the campaign asked for their help people were um, m more enthusiastic than ever to to go out and do work and so that was very important but also there was a uh, 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 organizers you know people on the ground who would make sure that uh, uh, supporters would come into the office and then go out and door knock which is what we were doing a lot of on the Obama campaign going out and talking to voters uh, at the door about why the uh, Barack Obama was their candidate and and to ask for their support so it was a uh, uh, definitely an online uh, community it was virtual and then we turned people into real supporters on the ground to actually go out and talk to voters uh, people craving authenticity uh, as a reaction to excessive political spin yeah that's right um, you know people are pretty cynical about politics in the US um, and even you know, some people really have contempt for, for elected officials and for candidates. And so uh, and when they find a candidate that uh, uh, seems real to them, it can be really, it can be really powerful. Um, and so uh, we talk about uh, authenticity. We, we train candidates in the work I do uh, um, beyond the Obama campaign. And we talk about how you come across as, as real uh, and authentic to, to voters. And it really has to do with um, instead of just talking about your policy positions or trying to be all things to all people, uh, talk about uh, what are your convictions, um, what are your values, what do you hold dear, uh, uh, how did you come to hold those, and why are you running for office, what's your motivation for running. Those things are really important, and in fact, most voters, they're looking for that as opposed to uh, whether or not the person is on the right side of a, of a given issue. Not everyone makes a good candidate, um, but... Uh, you know, if, if uh, you're getting involved in politics uh, because you care about issues and care about changing the world for the better, um, then you need to figure out how to convey that in a way that is real to people, that comes across as real. Um, if you can't do that, then um, you're going to have trouble connecting with voters. And you still can win. Um, there's a lot of inauthentic uh, uh, politicians running around the U.S., um, but... Uh, um, for someone like Barack Obama, who at one time was kind of a long shot candidate when he first ran, it was that authentic style um, that actually, I think, launched his candidacy in such a big way and attracted the huge numbers of people.